a service of Holy Communion for Wednesday the 17th of June. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all and also with you. In preparation for worship, we pray together. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Jesus said, before you offer your gift, go and be reconciled. As sisters and brothers in God's family, we come together to ask our Father for forgiveness. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. We are heartily sorry and repent of all our sins. For your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Hear now the words of grace, your sins are forgiven, in the name of the living God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Collect and Readings for this Wednesday. Let us pray. God of Truth, Help us to keep your law of love and to walk in ways of wisdom that we may find true life in Jesus Christ, your Son. Amen. The first reading is taken from the second book of Kings, chapter 2. Now when the Lord was about to take Elijah up to heaven by a whirlwind, Elijah and Elisha, were on their way from Gilgal. Then Elijah said to him, Stay here, for the Lord has sent me to the Jordan. But he said, As the Lord lives, and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. So the two of them went on. Fifty men of the company of prophets also went, and stood at some distance from them, as they both were standing by the Jordan. Then Elijah took his mantle and rolled it up and struck the water. The water was parted to the one side and to the other until the two of them crossed on dry ground. When they had crossed, Elijah said to Elisha, Tell me what I may do for you before I am taken from you. Elisha said, Please, let me inherit a double share of your spirit. He responded, You have asked a hard thing, yet if you see me as I am being taken from you, it will be granted you. If not, it will not. As they continued walking and talking, a chariot of fire and horses of fire separated the two of them and Elijah ascended in a whirlwind into heaven. Elisha kept watching and crying out, Father, Father, the chariots of Israel and its horsemen. But when he could no longer see him, he grasped his own clothes and tore them in two pieces. He picked up the mantle of Elijah that had fallen from him 
and went back and stood on the bank of the Jordan. He took the mantle of Elijah that had fallen from him and struck the water, saying, Where is the Lord, the God of Elijah? When he had struck the water, the water was parted to the one side and to the other, and Elisha went over. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Beware of practising your piety before others in order to be seen by them, for then you have no reward from your Father in heaven. So, whenever you give alms, do not sound a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, so that they may be praised by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your arms may be done in secret, and your father, who sees in secret, will reward you. And whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, so that they may be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But whenever you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your father who is in secret and your father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you fast, do not look dismal like the hypocrites for they disfigure their faces so as to show others that they are fasting. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face so that your fasting may be seen not by others, but by your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. It strikes me that this morning's readings are very much about what we put first in our lives. We have that wonderful story of Elijah and Elisha, and right as Elijah was to be taken from Elisha, then Elisha realised what was really important, and that, in a sense, was to be able to follow in Elijah's footsteps. And in order to do that, of course, he needed that strength, that support and help which we know comes from God. And in the Matthew reading, we're told about all those things which seem to matter to us, the way we look to other people, whether we're doing what looks holy rather than whether we are actually really putting God first. And the reminder there from Jesus is that it is important to get our priorities right to put God first. It really doesn't matter what our prayers look like or whether others think of us as prayerful. What really matters is how our relationship with God is. And so today, the reminder to us is to get our priorities right and to keep our eyes fixed firmly on God. We declare our faith in the words of the baptismal creed on page 7. Do you believe and trust in God the Father, source of all being and life, the one for whom we exist? We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Son, who took our human nature, died for us and rose again? We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit? who gives life to the people of God and makes Christ known in the world. We believe and trust in him. This is the faith of the church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us now pray for the church and for the world.
and give thanks for God's loving kindness to us all. Let us pray. So we give thanks this morning for those who have inspired and encouraged us in the faith. Remembering before God important individuals who've nurtured and encouraged us. And praying too that we may be those people for others that we may seek to nurture the faith of others. We pray that we would be guided by God in our prayer, in our almsgiving, in our fasting, in all our religious practices. That we would seek closer relationship that we would keep our eyes fixed firmly on God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for the needs of the world at this time, remembering those who lead us and who lead the other nations of the world, praying for wisdom and insight, We pray for our scientific community providing information during this pandemic. We pray for all those seeking to work together to learn from one another. We pray for humility in our leaders. And we continue to pray for religious and racial tolerance, for equality, for justice. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the church and for those who lead it remembering Archbishop Justin, Bishops Andrew and Joe. We pray for churches across the nation and indeed across the world, seeking to bring spiritual nurture and nourishment to all in challenging circumstances. And we pray especially for our neighbouring churches. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who live and work in this area. Praying especially for those businesses which are opening this week. We pray for God's grace, for God's guidance as we make difficult decisions. And as we seek to place the well-being of all at the forefront of our minds. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all those we know to be sick or suffering in any way at this time. For those who are lonely, for those in anguish, for those who are sick 
at home or in hospital. And we pray too for all those who care for them. We pray for those who mourn the passing of loved ones and especially for the family and friends of Trevor. Enfold them in your love, O Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all that lies ahead of us this week, for those people we will encounter, for those opportunities to share the light and love of God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. We are the body of Christ. In the one spirit we were all baptised into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Let us pray. Gracious God, accept these gifts and with them our lives to be used in your service through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God for ever. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Blessed are you, Lord God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise for ever. From the beginning, you have created all things, and all your works echo the silent music of your praise. In the fullness of time, you made us in your image the crown of all creation. You give us breath and speech, that with angels and archangels and all the powers of heaven, we may find a voice to sing your praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. How wonderful the work of your hands, O Lord. As a mother tenderly gathers her children, you embraced a people as your own. When they turned away and rebelled, your love remained steadfast. From them, you raised up Jesus, our Saviour, born of Mary, to be the living bread, in whom all our hungers are satisfied. He offered his life for sinners, and with a love stronger than death, he opened wide his arms on the cross. On the night before he died, he came to supper with his friends and taking bread, he gave you thanks. He broke it 
and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Father, we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. We remember his dying and rising in glory, and we rejoice that he intercedes for us at your right hand. Pour out your Holy Spirit as we bring before you these gifts of your creation. May they be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. As we eat and drink these holy things in your presence, form us in the likeness of Christ and build us into a living temple to your glory. Remember, Lord, your church in every land. Reveal her unity, guard her faith and preserve her in peace. Bring us at the last with Saint Mary and all the saints to the vision of that eternal splendour for which you have created us through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom, with whom and in whom, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. Amen. As Jesus our Saviour has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Thanks be to you, Lord Jesus Christ, for all the benefits you have given us, for all the pains and insults you have borne for us. Since we cannot now receive you sacramentally, we ask you to come spiritually into our hearts. O oh, most merciful Redeemer, friend and brother, may we know you more clearly love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly, day by day. Amen. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed.
we pray together the second post-communion prayer. God of our pilgrimage, you have led us to the living water. Refresh and sustain us as we go forward on our journey in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The love of the Lord Jesus draw you to himself. The power of the Lord Jesus strengthen you in his service. The joy of the Lord Jesus fill your hearts. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you and all those you love and pray for this day and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.